all right guys um today i'm going to do a brazilian keratin treatment this is my first time ever doing this even in hair school we never um did a keratin treatment we always did relaxers and this is organics ever straight brazilian keratin therapy 30 smoothing day treatment and first start off with it gave you a package of pre shampoo um it says you know before using please read and close directions carefully um using this clarifying shampoo as the first step in the brazilian keratin therapy system apply generously to, to wet hair and lather and it says if you have like extremely curly hair to you know wash it twice if you do not then you just wash it once but since i had um you know i'm transitioning but since i had um gel and stuff in my hair then i you know i shampooed it twice with this so this it's a two-step treatment this is the the brazilian keratin treatment i mean therapy right here in this little container it gives you gloves inside of the kit to use. I'm going to read the directions. It's to wash your hair with the clarifying pre-shampoo. I've already done that. The second is to towel dry your hair. Your hair should be 80% dry. And I really hate those, um, you know, 80% dry. How do people even know their hair is 80% dry? I guess my hair is mostly dry. It's still some damp. Probably we'll have to spritz it with more water because it actually feel like it just dried just about completely. So I'll probably just spritz, spritz it with a little bit more water so it can be 80%. You shake the bottle. What third step is to shake the bottle well and apply treatment to two inch sections of tile dry hair. Do not oversaturate. Do not apply directly to skin or scalp and wear gloves that are provided. Okay. So, to get an idea of what two inches look like, um, I have a comb with the inches on here. It's number two right there. So this is about two inches. So I have to make two inch sections. And it also says to do it in like cool, cool places. I'm in hot Atlanta right now and it is pretty hot, but hopefully it does not mess up my hair. Maybe I can bring some kind of air in this bathroom later when I um, blow dry it. Let's see. Just going to try to measure it. So. That's about two inches. And I do have breakage. This keratin treatment is it's protein. So it's it is supposed to be, you know, like a, a protein treatment for your hair, which can be good, but for some people that do hair does not respond well to protein, then this keratin treatment would not be for you. Take the bottle well. I'm gonna shake it and put it on the two inches of hair, and then you comb it through evenly from roots to ends. So, ready to do this. And then try to remember not to get on my scalp. It's actually pretty hard to do. kind of smells like I did make sure that it did not have any formaldehyde in it. I do not want any formaldehyde in my hair or lungs, skin, nothing. I don't want anything to do with formaldehyde. Okay, I'm not to oversaturate it. 
And I'm gonna take the comb. <laughs> I'm gonna take the comb and comb it from roots to end. And it's best to make sure you have your hair detangled before you you start this process. And you're supposed to leave the treatment on for 30 minutes before you blow dry it. You do not rinse it out. You go ahead and blow dry it. The product, rub it in my hands, rub it through my hair from roots to end. Yeah, the smell is not bad. It's actually minimum. It just smells like a relaxer just a bit. Rub it in, comb it through. And I forgot to say, after you shampoo your hair, it's clarifying shampoo. Do not, do not, do not put any conditioner on it. If you put any conditioner on it, it will be very hard for the keratin treatment to penetrate the cuticle. sure that it's all over my hair. I don't want to oversaturate my hair like the instructions say. I just want to make sure that it's all in my hair. So I won't have a bunch of thick spots and thinner spots. Okay, this did not take long for me to do. It only took about probably 10 10 13 minutes to, to get through all of this and I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes and I'm going to come back and I'm going to blow dry it see ya all right it has been over 30 minutes and I am going to blow dry my hair with my ceramic blow dryer Then I'm going to flat iron it with my ceramic um, FHI flat irons. When you're using hot tools, it's best to use ceramic um, just to make sure the heat is spread um, evenly and that it, it does not damage your hair. All right, I am back from my air break. I definitely needed some air. I'm down blood around my hair. I was sweating a lot, so I needed some air. Um, blow around my hair was actually pretty easy. The only thing I had with blow around my hair actually had nothing to do with the keratin um, treatment. It was I had bought a um. A new blow dry comb, new universal blow dry comb by Red, and it that thing popped off about thirty times. It was so irritating. I I mostly I blow dried this this side pretty easily, but this side started getting over here and the, it started popping off more, and I started getting frustrated, and you know I started using the brush with it, and you know, but that. This side is more, more straighter, and this side is more puffier. It's straight, but it's not as straight as this side. And I might end up having to do more passes on this side than that. So let's go back to where I left off one. Um, blow dry hair until your hair is completely dry using a brush to pull hair straight. We did that already. 
You know, if you don't have a brush and you can, you have a good blow dryer comb, you can use that. It's much easier. Flat iron here in small sections on high heat, 450 degrees recommended to seal keratin treatment onto the hair shaft. There is thermal heat protection in the treatment to protect your hair from overheating. Flat iron each section 7 to 10 times. Flat iron in a well ventilated area. Fans are recommended for air circulation. Well, this isn't well ventilated, but you know, if I get too hot, then I'm going to have to figure something out. Probably have to take another break and go sit in front of the air again. Um, seven to ten times. I don't know about going over my hair with the flat iron seven to ten times, maybe three, two to three times, three to four. This side might be a little bit more, probably five times, but seven to ten times is a bit much. I guess it, guess it's my hair that was that puffy, then it's fine. The good thing it does have heat protection. So, you know, once you flat iron your hair, you have to keep it straight. You have to flat iron it completely straight. Now, you have to leave it straight for 48 hours. You cannot bend your hair. If you bend it, you have to flat iron it again to keep it straight. And you cannot wash it. You cannot wash it. And, um... When you do get ready, you have to at least wait 48 hours to wash it. When you do get ready to wash it, you know, if you want to keep it straighter, you use the sulfate-free shampoo. If you want to, you know, see your curl back, then you need to use the, the shampoo with sulfate in it. And your hair, it, your curl is not going to, to go back immediately once you, you use your sulfate shampoo or you waited um, a whole month for the keratin treatment. It's going to take a while for your curl to come all the way back, but it will come back. And with this results may vary. It says very, very tiny print. Results may vary depending on texture of hair. So I'm curious to see how my hair is going to turn out because the lady on here is either Caucasian or um, Spanish and she definitely looks like she has a looser curl. So, see if it works on African American hair. <laughs> so, I'm going to part my hair in very small sections. Just like it says, smaller sections is the straighter your hair will be. Okay, I'm going to take a part and I'm going to flat on it. And I definitely have to clip my hands because they need a serious trim. Since I'm transitioning and my ends are already relaxed, I'm not going to keep um, the flat on on my hair as long as I will. The hair that is natural. Yeah, it comes straight within like two passes. So the um the seven to ten times that's not going to happen. And even if you your hair comes straight pretty easily, you don't want to run it. Then you don't want to run the flat iron in your hair more than once. Then you can run it down really slowly. Alright, it's been about 10, 12 minutes since I started and I'm halfway through. Back of my head is done. Just got this about halfway through. I'm going to take an air break because I do not want to sweat my hair out after the hard work I just did. So, I will be back. Alright, I'm back from my little break. 
Time to try to finish this. Okay, now I only have like a couple more parts to finish flat ironing. Since my memory card had run out. Yeah, I can tell that this is not going to last me. As soon as I go in the humidity, it's probably going to puff up. All right, I am done. I have to keep it straight for the next 48 hours. Wonder how that's gonna act since it's already starting to get a little puffy. I do not think this Brazilian, <laughs> I don't think this Brazilian um, character treatment is, is even going to last me the rest of the week to be honest with you. Um, when you first flat on it, it looks very straight, and then not long afterwards, it starts to puff up a little. But there is some smoothness to it. There is some smoothness. And um, let's see if I did all the steps. Leave treatment in hair for 48 hours. I have to do that. Do not wash or let hair become wet. Do not bend hair, tuck behind ears, or use ponytails, barrette, etc. If hair becomes bent, wavy or kinky, blow dry with a brush or touch up with the flat iron until hair is straight again. After 48 hours, wash and condition hair. For best results, use in conjunction with organics, Brazilian keratin therapy products. Style is desired. Treatment lasts up to 30 days. Use any remaining product for touch-ups. Well, I do have about <laughs> two-thirds of the bottle left, so I guess I will touch up within maybe next week or something. I'll do a touch-up, but I will definitely do an update on this. Yeah, it doesn't last. I'm has to clip my ends. Of course, my ends wasn't hard to flat on because to straighten because it was already straight. It was already relaxed since I'm transitioning. And yeah, I definitely have to clip my ends, and it's definitely important to to, to clip your ends to have healthy hair, or you can end up, you know, having your hair break and break and break. Or having dead hair that isn't going to do anything at all. And yes, dead hair is something that is is real. It wasn't made up. I was in cosmetology school. Yes, dead hair is real. Yeah, that's my Brazilian keratin therapy. Maybe I'll do a video of me clipping my hands. Maybe not. But, yeah, I'm, this isn't going to last me. I'm going to try to stay in front of the air, but, you know, it's already, it's already, you know, starting to, to fuzz up, start getting, um, not really frizzy, but it's not as straight as it was. It actually just feels like it's just been blow dried in the back. This feels flat on for now. But the back feels like it's just been blood right. So, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the updates.